Thank you, Beth Rigby. Thank you, Prime Minister. Um, <coughs> Prime Minister, you say that the parties united, you've won the vote, but several letters of no confidence in you have been submitted on the back of the events of last night. What is your message to those colleagues who look at this bill and think that you, with now trust level poll ratings, are the wrong man, is the wrong man for the job? I said, like, I'm interested in sticking with the plan that I set out to the British people because that plan is working. Right? It is delivering real change. And if we stick with that plan, we'll be able to build a brighter future for everyone's families in this country, a renewed sense of pride in our nation. And the progress that we have made is demonstrable. Right? As I said, last year was a tricky year. Recovering from the legacy of COVID, backlogs in our public services, the impact of the war in Ukraine on energy prices. But we are now pointing in the right direction. Progress is being made. We've now had five months where wages have been rising faster than prices. People have started to see the benefit in mortgage rates of those coming down. Inflation has fallen, as I said, from over 11% to 4%. And because of that progress, we were able to deliver a very significant tax cut for tens of millions of people in work. Now, obviously, progress on the boats is there, but we need to go further. But like my main message is the plan is working. Right? Across the board, you can see the progress is being made, and our job is to stick to that plan, deliver for the country, and the alternative, as I said, is clear. You know, Keir Starmer has had four years to set out an alternative, and he hasn't done so. Right? This is someone who is just sniping from the sidelines, can't tell you what he's going to do. Crucially, can't tell you how he's going to pay for a £28 billion green spending spree, uh, which is just going to mean everyone's taxes are going to go up at a time that we're now starting to cut them. Right? So there's a very clear choice. And I think the Conservative Party is completely united in wanting to deliver for the country, cut their taxes, and crucially, to stop the votes.